Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my Sagittarians, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Well, overcast, depressed, shallow conversation, and no fun all through the weekend. That's my prediction for the Sagittarius's. <laughs> April Fools. Actually, cloudy nesting and resting today for the Sagittarius's. Sorry, Sag, I had to come up with whatever it is you would absolutely hate. The moon is in Pisces, so emotional focus is on your self nurturing today. In fact, the moon's the ruling planet. So your emotions are telling you a lot about the state of your inner child and how that state is affected by self-nurturing. So make sure you, your inner child is what's speaking to you today. See what he or she is thinking or feeling or whatnot. And your spiritual job is to be a good mommy to your own inner child. So if your child wants to be creative, go get him or her crayons. If your child wants to play, do something that will allow your child to play. Even if it's 15 minutes. You know, in school, they give you 15-minute recesses. And schools are smart. They know that's all the kids need to kind of take a break, energetically go back into their heart chakra and prepare to come back into school. Give yourself a recess today if that's what you need. But this is all building up to Light Cast Day on Sunday, the most powerful day of the month to set our intentions into motion. It's the best day to start a new habit. It's the best day to start a new life every 30 days. And this one is going to be a powerful punch as the moon crosses both the sun and Jupiter and for you in the house of your heart chakra. The universe wants to kickstart that inner child. Kickstart the fun. Kickstart the joy in Sagittarius's life. And on Sunday, we recommend you visualize that kickstart. Now, we recommend two things as part of your light cast ceremony. One, come on down to the mothership. We have a Sagittarius club where we have a Sagittarius blogger. His name is Drew. Drew the Druid. He doesn't go by Drew the Druid anymore, but he's still a Druid to me. And what he does is he, he writes out very eloquently what he's light casting, his challenges as a Sagittarius, Something just to kind of be more specific than I can get in this actual horoscope. And we encourage our soul gardeners to post what you're light casting underneath through so we have collective group manifestation going on there. So make sure you show up, you post what you want, and you bless everyone else's. All right? That's us all working together. Then, privately, we recommend a light cast ceremony. On Sunday, fill your heart with some love and visualize the fun and joy that you want. We are on the brink of a seven-year makeover where Sag is going to go from their life now to a life of super fun, super joy, super creativity, but you've got to tell the universe where you're going. God, universe is the map quest, but you must put in the destination. So visualize on Sunday this joyful life. Put yourself in that space. Fill your heart with Disneyland kind of vibration. Well, Disney was a Sagittarius, by the way. And hold that space as long as you can and release. All right, Sag, this is an exciting light cast day. Time for your dreams to come true. Do the work. Read Drew's blog, and I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So cold.